Well, welcome everyone. We are so glad to have you here with us today. This is the moments before the show. Um, we are getting ready to go live on Facebook, so we usually banter a little bit. How are you, Rosita? I am fine, thank Ros you. Yeah, Rosita's Happy our reader. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Happy Valentine's, Happy Valentine's Day. Day. And, we'll, and we're going to do it again, actually, when we when we get up live on Facebook. So. Um, well, well uh, Valentine's again. Yeah, well, Valentine's again. If you guys are watching on uh, on YouTube, please do like and subscribe. Um, and also please hit the bell for notifications. We appreciate your support. You've been so kind to us and liking our videos. Um, sometimes you leave comments. Um, we are always happy to offer that up um, to everybody. And remember, we're here throughout the week worshiping and praising God, as well as offering service. So um, welcome, welcome, welcome. Go. And we always cross post because we can. So people can see if you're watching on Facebook, please do like and subscribe. We appreciate that support. You like and just subscribe on Facebook too? Yeah, you can actually, you can like and ask for notifications. I should oh, say. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah. Truth. So when we come up online, Rosita will welcome everybody again. Okay. Here we go. We are coming up online. There we are. There we are. <laughs> hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Good morning, everybody. So good morning, everyone. We are glad to have you with us. Um, Laura and I are happy to welcome you to our home again. Um, we we made the decision in the early early hours of yesterday because of the projected ice storm we were supposed to get here in New Jersey at this um, time right. at this very moment yes. uh, to <laughs> have our worship from our home. Welcome you into our dining room table again. Unfortunately, or fortunately, however you want to look at it, that's right. Um, there was no ice storm because New Jersey. Um, it is <laughs> what it is. is good. Yeah. Yeah, we're not complaining. Plan. That is good. Absolutely. Everyone is nice and is home and cozy on this beautiful Valentine's Day morning. So I guess that's the um, the takeaway. That's the good takeaway. Yeah, um, it is the good takeaway. So we're yes. happy to have you here. We wish you a happy Valentine's Day. Yes. Um, hope you are with you and yours. And if you can't be with you and yours in person, that you are able to reach out electronically and spend yes. some time with each other as we are doing here. Yes. So we bid you a gracious happy Valentine's Day. We also welcome Rosie. Rosita, who yes. is our reader today. Hi, Rosita. Hello, everyone. Good yeah. morning. And uh, you have Valentine's plans with John today, right? Or yes, we're oh. sitting in our couch watching the games. <laughs> the that, listen, game. that is love, Rosita. That's love. That's love right there. <laughs> Absolutely. This is also the last Sunday after the Epiphany um, in which we mark and remember uh, the transfiguration of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is the switch point for us as we prepare for Lent to begin um, in the midweek with Ash Wednesday. But for now, we're in the last few moments of this earthly ministry that we are observing in which Christ is made manifest in our midst. So we're very thankful for that. And before we set our faces to Jerusalem with our Christ and follow him um, to the Passion and to, hold, to Holy Week and to Passion, we welcome you here into fellowship, both Eucharistically and also prayerfully. So thank you for being with us today. All right, you guys ready? Yes. All right, here we go, Laura, if you'd be so kind. We open with our collect of welcoming. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Holy Spirit, living within us, send to St. Peter's all who are hurting or in need. All who are searching for you or for answers in their lives, prepare us this day to receive them as Christ would. Give us discerning hearts so that everyone who crosses our threshold feels welcomed in the spirit of your love. Help us to recognize each person as an individual sent by you who will enrich our lives. And most of all, O oh God, let this be a place of love and acceptance for all your children, in the name of your child, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed be his kingdom, now and forever. Amen. 
Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please join me in the opening anthem. Glory to God in the highest, and, and peace, peace to his people on earth. earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the, in the glory, glory of God, God the Father. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. O God, who before the passion of your only begotten Son revealed his glory upon the holy mountain, grant to us that we, beholding by faith the light of his countenance, may be strengthened to bear our cross and be changed into his likeness from glory to glory. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the second book of Kings. Now when the Lord was about to take Elijah up to heaven by a whirlwind, Elijah and Elisha were on their way from Gilgal. Elijah said to Elisha, stay here for the Lord has sent me as far as Bethel. But Elijah said, as the Lord lives and as you yourself live, I will not leave you. So they went down to Bethel. The company of prophets who were in Bethel came out to Elijah and said to him, do you know that today the Lord will take your master away from you? And he said, yes, I know, keep silent. Elijah said to him, Elijah, stay here, for the Lord has sent me to Jericho. But he said, as the Lord lives, and as you yourself live, I will not leave you. So they came to Jericho. The company of prophets who were at Jericho drew near to Elisha and said to him, do you know that today the Lord will take your master away from you? And he answered, Yes, I know, be silent. Then Elijah said to him, stay here, for the Lord has sent me to the Jordan. But he said, as the Lord lives and as you yourself live, I will not leave you. So the two of them went on. 50 men of the company of prophets also went and stood at some distance from them as they both were standing by the Jordan. Then Elijah took his mantle and rolled it up and struck the water. The water was parted to the one side and to the other until the two of them crossed on dry ground. When they had crossed, Elijah said to Elisha, tell me what I may do for you before I am taken from you. Elijah said, please let me inherit a double share of your spirit. He responded, you have asked a hard thing Yet, if you see me as I am being taken from you, it will be granted you. If not, it will not. As they continued walking and talking, a chariot of fire and horses of fire separated the two of them. And Elijah ascended in a whirlwind into heaven. Elijah kept watching and crying out, Father, Father, the chariots of Israel and its horsemen. But when he could no longer see him, he grasped his own clothes and tore them into pieces. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The psalm for this morning is Psalm 50, verse 1 to 6. We will respond by half verse. The Lord, the God of gods, has spoken. He has called the earth from the rising of the sun to its setting. Out of Sion, perfect in its beauty. God reveals himself in glory. Our God will come and will not keep silence. 
Before him there is a consuming flame, and round about him a raging storm. He calls the heavens and the earth from above to witness the judgment of his people. Gather before me, my loyal followers, those who have made a covenant with me and sealed it with sacrifice. Let the heavens declare the rightness of his cause. For God himself is judge. The second reading for this morning is a reading from Paul's second letter to the church in Corinth. If our gospel is veiled, it is veiled to those who are perishing. In their case, the God of this world has blinded the minds of the unbelievers to keep them from seeing the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. For we do not proclaim ourselves, we proclaim Jesus, Christ as Lord, and ourselves as your slaves for Jesus' sake. For it is the God who said, let light shine out of darkness, who has shown in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ, the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord you Christ. Lord Christ. Jesus took with him Peter and James and John and led them up a high mountain apart by themselves. And he was transfigured before them and his clothes became dazzling white, such as no one on earth could bleach them. And there appeared to them Elijah with Moses who were talking with Jesus. Then Peter said to Jesus, Rabbi, it is good for us to be here. Let us make three dwellings, one for you, one for Moses and one for Elijah. He did not know what to say for they were terrified. Then a cloud overshadowed them, and from the cloud there came a voice, this is my son, the beloved, listen to him. Suddenly when they looked around, they saw no one with them anymore, but only Jesus. As they were coming down the mountain, he ordered them to tell no one about what they had seen until after the son of man had risen from the dead. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. It is challenging in these days to preach as we begin to round the corner on almost a full year of separation from each other physically because of this pandemic. And the sense of isolation and disconnect for so, so many of us from so many of us feels very profound and prolonged. I know it has led down, led to the breaking down of some friendships and relationships and God willing soon we can begin to reassert those, but it has also done something else for us. It's reminded us of just how much affection and care we have, not only for those that, with whom we are most intimate, but also for that wider and broader network of relationships that we experience um, in the light and love of God. And I'm particularly thankful for these days because light and love are two things that we need in great full measures. Light because we are ready for spring, we are ready for this month and this season to conclude so we can be outside again. Um, being inside and having to be inside can be challenging for all of us. And to feel actually the return of light, the sun rising earlier, the sun staying up later has been a real blessing to our hearts and to our souls. So the need for light in our lives and light from love in our lives is so profound and so necessary. And as we mark this, this transition from Epiphany into Lent and become uh, very much more mindful of the season of penitence and fasting and that sense of mindfulness that Lent asks of us, I'm deeply mindful of that transition as we see the readings of the Transfiguration. Elijah and Elisha holding on to a relationship that everyone else is so sure is ending. And so Elisha is being coached again and again to just let it go, but he will not. He is dogged in holding on to that connection with his mentor, his teacher, his companion, his friend. 
and then return for that. And they never tell us this in this reading, but it follows right after in the scripture. Elisha really does receive not only a double measure of Elijah's spirit, but also goes on to accomplish a great deal for the glory of God and for the benefit of the people of God in his life and his work as a prophet. We forget as well just how important it is to remember that the gospel we have extends always beyond us, not just to these relationships with which we are most intimately bound, but also to the wider extension that there are those who have not yet experienced, heard, or need to hear again and reaffirm the connections that are in Christ to others. I had a conversation this past week with a man who has been apart from God for decades. And because of watching the baptism of his daughter-in-law and grandson here at St. Peter's has made the decision to pursue formation for baptism himself. It's been too long, he said, since God has been with me in my heart. I need to live more fully into that. And then finally, um, and I love this, that we are reminded again of our beloved patron Peter, who always seems to be on the way and never quite there. Um, as a fisherman, he asks for a hammer to build, build shelters on the top of a mountain and is reminded again that we don't linger in any one place as we follow Jesus. Instead, we are truly called to be on the way, to be going with him. Even as Elisha held on to Elijah in his transit through the land, so also we are called to follow Jesus through the landscape of our lives and to pursue and offer up the story and testimony of what it means to be in the presence, not only of our Savior, but also of the wider body of Christ that we experience in his resurrection in the church. So I urge you this day as we mark and celebrate um, the end of Epiphany and the beginning of Lent to take the day to be mindful so that the next few days and choices you make are more intentionally focused on relationship to God and Christ and particularly and most profoundly relationship to God in Christ to the other in your lives, both those with whom you are most intimate in your own household, but also to those who are out there in the world. Thank you. God bless you. Take care and amen. 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 All right. If you would please join me in an affirmation of, of our faith with the words of the Nicene Creed, we will continue with our worship. Let us affirm our baptism. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, by the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again. In accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Prayers of the people. Let us hear your voice as we kneel in awe before you. May we not be the same after recognizing your glory. Merciful and, and gracious Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. Speak to us of peace. Call us to work for justice and to care for the welfare of all your children in our homes, in our workplaces, in our neighborhoods, in your church, in the world. Shine your light in the dark places of our lives and in this world. Merciful, Merciful and gracious Lord, hear our prayer. Call us to be a compassionate and prayerful presence 
for those whose hearts ache from grief, whose souls are weary or wounded. Overshadow us with your awesome presence. Walk down from the mountaintop with us and walk before us into the places you would have served us, witness to your healing and love. Merciful and, and gracious, gracious Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. We offer to you the names of those for whom our prayers have been requested. We pray for in the Anglican cycle of prayer that we pray for the Anglican Church of Canada. In the diocesan cycle of prayer, we pray for Reverend Angela Sapola. On the parish prayer list, we pray for the following. Elizabeth, Don, K, Michael and Dylan, Nate, Rick, Christopher, Rita, Eddie, Felicia, Albert, Stephen, Luann, Katie, Elizabeth, Paul and Nancy, Tara, Jay, Eugene, Edmundo, Ralph, Kathy, and family, Leah, Kim, Susie, Shelley, Scott, Amy, Anne Marie, Sarah, Renee, Peter, Brian, Jeanette, Art, Mark, Robert, Misty, Brian, Cheryl, Stacy, Moira, Phil, Christina, Alex, James, Karen and family, Rosemary, Nicole, Scott, Ronnie, the Perchick family, William, Edward, Stephen, Nancy, and Anne-Marie. We pray for the birthday celebrating this week. Charles, Isabella, Leslie, Lou, Janice, Julia, Katie, Mickey, Nancy, Brian, and John. We pray for the celebration of the anniversaries of Marissa and Craig Brown. And for those serving in the military, Nicole, Matthew, Connor, Jared, Matthew, and Austin. We also pray for the repose of the soul of Ethel Gibson. Merciful and gracious Lord, gracious Lord, hear our prayers. Gracious God, we offer to you the names of those for whom our intercessions are intended and for whom our thanks are offered. We give you thanks as well for the lives well lived and pray for the repose of the soul of Ethel and the consolation of her family. We thank you, Lord, for all the blessings of this life, and we ask that you watch over us and sustain us this day and always in the grand company of saints that gather as a cloud of witnesses around your heavenly throne. All this we ask through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Savior. Amen. Amen. My brothers and sisters, let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most, Most merciful God, God we, we confess, confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And, and also, also with you. With you. Peace. Peace, everybody. Peace. All right. Thank you, Rosita. We appreciate your presence. Thank you. We'll let you go sit with your Valentine now for the okay, uh, service. <laughs> God bless. Thank you. Thank you.
My brothers and sisters, thank you so much for being with us. We appreciate your presence today. And uh, as we draw near to the table and welcome you here in our home again to uh, share in some Eucharistic fellowship, I ask you to remember St. Peter's and give thanks for its mission and ministry. We appreciate your support. Continue to offer that up as we continue to serve the community in your name. We do continue to do everything we can to support Community of Hope Ministries with its feeding ministries. We are working hard on making sure that we maintain that, particularly for the food insecure in our communities and as well if you know someone who needs a meal um, you can drop by on Wednesday evenings at the community supper and pick that up for a neighbor who may be uh, in need of a hot meal if you are not and know that you are always welcome as well we thank uh, our thrift shop volunteers and as well everybody who is working so hard to maintain our mission and ministry at St. Peter's we are really um, relying upon that and we appreciate your presence those gifts of time and talent and treasure make all the world um, happen for us and and we really give great give glory to God for that so thank you for your support you. as well be aware that you can sign up on our website through sign up genius um, and also on the sign up genius link for Ash Wednesday, there will be ashes offered for imposition at appointment. We'll either be sprinkling those um, or applying them with a Q-tip swab. Um, the, that'll be offered from 10 to 11.30 on Ash Wednesday and from four to 5.30 on Ash Wednesday. There will be a live service broadcast from the church at 12 noon on Wednesday. Um, that will be the Ash Wednesday liturgy without the imposition of ashes but with the uh, the full liturgy or full liturgy itself with Eucharist, and you'll be able to watch that either live on Facebook at noon, or uh, you'll be able to watch that later on YouTube. There will be morning prayer on Wednesday, but there will not be evening prayer. Uh, did I get all that? I got all that. I guess so. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out. We'll find out, <laughs> won't we? Yeah. Um, so thank you so much for being with us. And uh, again, you know, as, as you reach out and let people know that this is a, a Valentine's Day to be thankful for, um, give thanks for all those whom we are called to love in our lives. And uh, may all those be healing relationships for all of you. All things come of thee, O Lord. And of thine own have we given thee. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere, to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Because in the mystery of the word made flesh, you have caused a new light to shine in our hearts, to give the knowledge of your glory in the face of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We give thanks to you, O God, for the goodness and love which you have made known to us in creation. And the calling of Israel to be your people in your words spoken through the prophets and above all in the word made flesh Jesus your son. For in these last days you sent him to be incarnate from the Virgin Mary to be the savior and redeemer of the world. In him you have delivered us from evil and made us worthy to stand before you. In him you have brought us out of error into truth, out of sin into righteousness, out of death into life. On the night before he died for us our Lord Jesus Christ took bread and when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, drink this all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we therefore according, I'm sorry, therefore, according to his command, O Father, we remember his death, death we proclaim, proclaim his, his resurrection, resurrection, we await his coming, coming in glory, glory, and we offer our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving to you, O Lord of all, presenting to you from your creation this bread and this wine. We pray you, gracious God, to send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts, that they may be the sacrament of the body of Christ and his blood of the new covenant. Unite us to your son and his sacrifice, that we may be acceptable through him 
being sanctified by the Holy Spirit. In the fullness of time, put all things in subjection under your Christ and bring us to that heavenly country where with Peter, our patron and all your saints, we may enter the everlasting heritage of your sons and daughters. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, the firstborn of all creation, the head of the church and the author of our salvation. By him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. And now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, Father who, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia. The gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving body of Christ, the bread of heaven. Amen. Body of Christ, the bread of heaven. The blood of Christ, the cup of salvation. Amen. Blood of Christ, the cup of salvation. Let us pray. Eternal oh God, God, Heavenly, Heavenly Father, Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and you have fed us with the spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be upon you and abide with you this day and always. Amen. Let us go forth in the name of Christ. Thanks be to God. Thank you, everyone. We appreciate your presence. Yes. yes. Thank and, you. And uh, bid you peace and grace. And we will see you on Ash Wednesday and also next Sunday as we begin our Lenten discipline. Let's take a quick chance to, uh, to rehearse. Uh, because we go to right one. Oh, right one. Right. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. <laughs> All right, guys. God bless you and keep you and uh, take care. We'll Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Happy Valentine's Day. Bye-bye. <laughs>